Welcome everyone. We're going to get started in just a couple minutes. Welcome to the folks who are just arriving. We're going to give SLP just a couple minutes and then we'll get started. Unmute. Oh, where are we? Hi. Welcome. 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 Give me a sec. Uh, Go for it. Take your time. Okay. All right. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Give me another sec. Okay. Hi, everybody. Oh, look who's so here. Luis is here. Rebecca's here. Um, hi, everybody. Hi, beautiful people. Uh, where's Lolly? It's Lo oh, it's uh, are we it's me today? Oh, yeah. Because I was like, oh, you're not Lolly. Hi. <laughs> I'm not Lolly. Hi. 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 Welcome to Watch Me Work, everybody. Um, I'm SLP. We work together um, uh, most every Monday at five o'clock, and um, we've been doing this show for. A long time for like 15 years and uh it's all about your work and your creative process so what we do is we work for 20 minutes and i hold a timer and then we uh talk to you about your work and your creative process and if you have a question about your work and your creative process you can ask emma how to get in touch go emma for sure so if you're in the zoom room you can ask questions by clicking the raise your hand button which is in the reactions tab at the bottom of your screen. And if you're having trouble finding it, you can shoot me a message. Um, and if you're watching the stream on HowlRound, feel free to send us your question via the Public Theater's Twitter or Instagram account or via Watch Me Works Twitter or Instagram account, which is at Watch Me Work SLP with the hashtag HowlRound. And that's hashtag H-O-W-L-R-O-U-N-D. Fantastic. All right, we will get started. Um, here we go. Here's our 20 minutes. <gasps> Boom.
All right, all right. You're here. Now comes the moment. We take questions for you about your work, your creative process. If y'all got some questions, I'm here. Great, it looks like Lisa has a question. Hey, Lisa. Lisa, you should be able to unmute, great. I did, I unmuted. Um, yeah, I have a question and um, I'll, I'll be honest, I think it's um, influenced by your recent work at the public or your current work at the public, I guess I should say, but um, I'm, I'm kind of curious about the intersection between writing and performance. And the last time I was um, in this session, um, you spoke about making sure that you read your writing out loud. Mm -hmm. um, but, and I think everybody sooner or later has to read their work out loud, even if you're doing a reading or a poetry reading or something. But how much of the writing I'm a fiction writer, so how much of it is writing for prose? How much of it is writing for performance? Um, and I know there's an intersection between the two. I just don't know how that falls. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So um, how much of it, how much of what? How much of reading you're writing out loud or how much of, I'm well, sorry. Because you perform in so much of your own work. Um, so I'm, I, I mean, I read that. And I'm always curious about that. I mean, do you write for you? Do you write for you to perform? Do you write for other performers? So I guess I'm asking I mean, some of the that question. Wow, this is great because uh, thank you, Lisa. Some of, I'm smiling because of a, a, a couple of wonderful things. Some of the performers in from the heart of they come, the musical we just did, the public are here right now. So, for, so just FYI, for the most part of what I do, I, so when I say read your work aloud, it, it, it actually, it doesn't come from um, the fact that I perform in a lot of my work. Actually, in the majority of my work, I'd say about 90% of my work, I don't perform in at all. Um, Place for the Play Gear is the first time I've performed in my own work. Except this, I'm performing you know, the performance of Susan Lloyd Parks, which I do a lot. But other than that, on stage at the pub is the very first time I'm actually performing in my work, I think. Um, I mostly write for other people, uh, folks like Dana and Huso, uh, who have been in, in my play and, you know, in the part of they come. So so when I say read your work aloud, um, what we were talking about last time around, I was uh, just saying, like, just so you can, even if it's prose, because I've written one novel and a lot of essays and I just feel like you can one can get a I'm wearing my heart of the come t-shirt sweatshirt um one can get a a feel of your work if you read it aloud you know you can you can get you can kind of in a way you know get get out of your head and into your body and into the movement of it and I think that's a really beautiful place to try out your work um, even if it's not meant to be performed at all by anybody ever. Uh, but my novel that I, I wrote uh, several years ago now, I would I read it aloud. You know, all my essays I read aloud. Um, I, I, I yeah, I read. Yeah. So, you know, you're writing you said you're writing fiction, your prose, did you say? So I would say uh, read it. I mean, I, I discover lots of things by reading my work aloud, even if it's not meant to be um performed especially performed by me I, most of my work isn't meant to be performed by me does that help it does help and congratulations to everybody that was in, involved with the show i'm sorry i didn't get to new york and talk to see okay. it's okay yeah it's just uh but but really reading your work aloud gives you a, a it, it sort of activates your third ear if you will you know and and allows you to hear your work in in ways that you might not be able to hear it if you just sat, you know, and sort of read it in her, because when you read it aloud, it actually will leave your head, you know? 
So I get it. Thank you. Good question. Good question. Sure. Thank you. Rebecca, I'm going to unmute you. You should just be able to accept. Great. Thank you. I'm on your cookie. Hey, Rebecca. How are you? I'm well. I'm well. How are you doing? I'm good. Uh, quite wonderful last night. Thank awesome. you. Thanks for coming. Thanks for coming. Thanks for being there. Who's so in Dana, too? Thanks for being. And Pia, thanks for being at the show. Yeah. So I have a question about reading out loud yes oh good I wonder if there's a point where it's too soon ah um so i feel like i've gotten stuck um in sections of the manuscript thinking i'm going to read it i'm going to edit it and i went in maybe the place i'm stuck is like writing all the way through and mm -hmm. then reading or reading sections as i go along hmm yeah, it's tricky. I mean, yeah, that's a good question because different writers work in different ways. I once read um, Joyce Carol Oates, the wonderful writer who writes a lot. She writes a lot. And she, I read in one essay or something, she was talking about her own work that she, you know, kind of rewrites as she goes, which is amazing. So she'll write a chapter, for example, a chapter and then, re and then rewrite it before she goes to the next chapter. And it's like, oh, wow, that's pretty cool. Um, uh, I tend to like get through the whole thing and then rewrite, but so everybody has their own way of doing it. Um, so I guess you have to see what kind of where you are with it, Rebecca, it really, it, it can go many different ways. Um, um, yeah, it, it, you can, you can write a chapter, then read it out loud and rewrite it. You can do that. Or you can write, three chapters and then read them out loud and, and read that, write them that way. Um, it really depends on what, what feels better for you. You know, um, it, it's really going to be, have to be a feel thing that, that you're going to have to feel. So have you been, what, what have you been doing now and how has it been feeling? Well, so I, I as a writer, I started out as a poet, uh -huh. which, you know, means I rewrote things 10 times. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, and then, you know, had to send them or do something so that I wouldn't just keep rewriting them. Right. Um, and and I I feel like um, I'm reading a section mm -hmm. at a time. Well, probably two thirds of the first section, all of the second section, mm -hmm. and. And then if I don't get back to a section soon enough or pick up where I left off, then I think pro I end up feeling like I have to start over with the reread. Mm -hmm. so, so I made a decision to not look backwards for a while. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. And, and um, just work on this fourth section. Um, and the, the section, it, each section has a bunch of little pieces to it. Mm -hmm. um, sort of chapters, but some of them are not. Mm -hmm. So I think I've just been trying to figure out how to get all the way through. And I sort of, I don't know, but I sort of think that it'll feel better to read from start to finish. Mm -hmm. 
but I see things and I have to stop and like um, fix them. <laughs> oh, I love this. You have to stop. I know. It's, I don't have to stop, obviously, but it's like, it's everything I can do to go forward. So, <laughs> well, well, the, but that's, and that's what we're interested in, Rebecca. We're, we're interested in you, you activating the everything that you need to do to accomplish yeah. what you know, I feel like you know you need to do. Yeah. So you get, you know, you get a a, a, a a pad or a notebook or a some kind of, I have so many devices now, it's crazy. I just, I have like all these things to write on. Yeah. But you get something, some device, some pad, some notebook, some note-taking device, right? Your phone, whatever you like. And as you read through, and if you wanna get hardcore, you stand up and read it aloud. Yeah. And if you don't, you can sit down and read it aloud. Aloud, I think is 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 good. Um, and you you have your notebook, and every time you, as you say, come to something that needs fixing, you and you are the determiner, you're the decider of that. You jot it down, or if it's a hard cover, it's a hard copy manuscript, you can write a, a note in the margin if you want. You know, page seven, fix the manuscript. Write it down. Write it down and keep going. Mm -hmm. Write it down and keep going, write it down and keep going and give yourself enough time to get through as much as a manuscript as you think you need to get through all four parts or whatever it is, but take notes and keep going. Don't stop and fix it. That's a different kind of brain activity. Yes. It really is. And that's I, I would suggest that you even if you say I'm going to read one one section, one chapter, whatever, I'm going to read it through and make notes. And then tomorrow I'll go through the notes and, and fix it. Great. But if you're stopping to fix and stopping to fix and stopping to start, then you're going. It, it, it's it's. Uh, again, it, I, I don't think that's the best. That's not going to be the best way to work or. If you loved working that way, I'd say, great, go for it. But since it seems to be causing you some kind of consternation, I'm suggesting something else. I, I just, there's, I want to feel like, I want to feel the continuity of the, <laughs> great. the work. And um, also, and also feel, you know, where they're, there's more opportunity or, mm -hmm. or, or less <laughs> and right. yeah. So, and, and it feels like, it feels like it needs a complete read through. Great. Um, and, and then go and, and pick up the notes. Yeah. I mean, give, so give yourself what you need, a complete read through with very, you know, conscientious note taking along the way, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Note taking along the way. So you're not like slack and you're not turning a blind eye to things that need, you know, fixing. No, you're very mindfully taking notes along the way. That needs fixing that. Look at that or circle or, or print out a copy. And if you want, mm -hmm. you know, notate it, you know? Yeah. But keep going, read through it, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I think that's helpful. Yay. All right. Thanks, Thanks. Rebecca. Um, I saw Colette mentioned you have a question in the chat. Hey, Colette. Hey, how are you? We're well, thank you. It's so wonderful. I just love coming to your place. Oh, thank you. Oh, it's kind of like when you go someplace and you feel like you did something, you really just sat in the room. It's like inspiring, right? Oh, that's the idea. I know. Plus, I, I love to work, so I love watching people work. But um, so here's the story. Um, I've been very, very lucky. I'm a Detroiter, okay. and um, I'm part of Detroit Playwrights Lab, which is affiliated with the Rep. And so I, I, I've got this great world, right? And I've been very, very lucky. And then came as far as getting my some of my works on stage, um, and but since COVID. It, Things have gotten very dry, but then there's another piece to the story. I am going to turn 70 this year, right? Congratulations. Yeah, it's, it's so cool, right? And um, I've got a great hefty body of work. I mm -hmm. do. And it's, you wouldn't know it, but it came in increments, right? But 
I feel like I got all these babies and they're sitting in a file on my desktop and some of them have had some attention and others are just sort of sitting there. Mm-hmm. And part of me is just, you know, um, what, I'm barren, I'm not mm-hmm. barren, but I hate that my babies are all just, so I'm struggling with that, you know, that I've honored the muses and the voice and the process and, and the vulnerability of getting things out. I've been very proactive. And now I'm just sort of like, I don't know. I'm, I'm losing my momentum. In getting them from your desktop to... It's kind of all the above. Like um, finding places to put them out there. Um, writing new works. Um, it's just kind of like everything. Um, mm-hmm. 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 Because I have, it's kind of like, I've done these babies. It's kind of like if you're a mother and you have a bunch of babies and then you realize your other, your babies are just sitting there kind of being neglected, right? And now, so I'm sort of torn between, that's a bad question. I'm a bad writer because I'm very, <laughs> it's a pro, it's hard to keep going when things that you already love are just not bearing fruit. Are not bearing fruit, you mean not being produced somewhere? or haven't had found a home other than my my heart and my desktop yeah. right, right 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 okay so no i i completely hear you and it, it is it is hard to keep going and you think wow i've done this work and and i haven't found places for them to be produced we're going to use a new word yet yeah okay that's a really helpful word and i'm gonna i'm gonna say something kind of weird because i can't really tell how you're sitting but it looks like you're leaning back right can you sit up yeah i can sit up that's great okay this is the thing and this is like the by all you know by any means necessary oh you're changing chairs okay even better look at the the beautiful space look at the beautiful space you have back there it's not a gorgeous home look at you and look at that floor lamp oh my goodness that's fantastic that helps so we're going to do some you know this is about one of those by any means necessary moments i mean every moment is a by any means necessary moment we're going to read our work aloud we're going to if our work needs to be read through like rebecca was saying we're going to read it all the way through and if it it's going to require everything we've got to read it all the way through and to take notes that's what we're going to do so that's what we're interested in right so we're going to sit up because in my experience, sitting back on a soft piece of furniture <laughs> is what I want to do when I want to nap. Okay. We're not napping right now. Okay. Okay. So we're going to sit up and we're going to employ the word yet. So we say things like, you can say, you know, well, I'm really noticing that some of my, my work hasn't borne fruit yet. because. Then you start, again, we talked about hypnosis. You're an amazing hypnotist, Colette. We all are. What goes out of your mouth goes into the probably the nearest hole. Well, it could go up your nose. And that has happened. But, you know, it goes out of your mouth into your ears. And you're constantly hypnotizing yourself, right? Mm-hmm. So you're saying things and you're hypnotizing yourself into a reality. And you got to self-check, right? You got to start. You got to continue, let's say, to speak the reality that you really want to bring into your life, right? So we're going to do things like sitting up. We're going to say, hasn't borne fruit yet, okay? So I'm actively looking for ways to get my work out there, right? That would be an accurate, actually an ac- a more accurate description of your situation. I've shown up for myself, I've shown up for the muse, and I'm actively looking for ways to get my work out there. Luckily, we live in 2023, and there are so many ways now to get our work out there, right? We can have, we can invite, I mean, you look like you have a really nice house, the crib (laughs) looks really nice. You know, I bet you got some friends, and I bet you you have, you're part of this Detroit Writers Collective. You can probably invite some friends over now that it's it's we're not you know in isolation anymore who can read your plays aloud, you know, or you can you know that kind of thing that's fun. It can be an evening that's that you can invite people over and read your plays aloud. Um, a lot of us do that. You can have people on Zoom reading your work aloud. You can make you can turn some of your plays into short little films 
you can film them yourself. I mean, it sounds self-producing is not a bad thing. <laughs> it's really fun. And I still self-produce. I, I'm, a, I'm the driving generator behind a lot of my work. You know, um, uh, sometimes somebody calls me up and says, let's do something. But a lot of times I'm just churning the wheels myself, you know, until someone else can pick it up and help me carry it. You see what I mean? Does any of that make any sense, Colette? No, no, it makes a lot of sense. A lot, a lot of sense. Um, and, um, is there one thing you can do this week that's going to get you closer to the goal of having one of your works or some of your works bear fruit? Well, I, I think as you were speaking, I think what I really latched onto is that I've got some paradigm in my head about my own age that's in the way. Because I've done what you've suggested, and it, but I'm the one that's the barrier, right? Okay. Because of the age thing. It's like, oh, eh, eh, you know. So I, I, I think changing the language in my own head is where the big thing is. Okay. Even as you were talking, I think um, like when you quit smoking, the only way you quit is like give yourself a star every time you, you know, smoke less rather than quitting. Okay. And I actually wrote a really funny joke this week and I won't even go on it, but I kept telling it to people over and over and over. And I didn't, I didn't honor that as that was a written, it was a, it was a, you know what I'm saying? I didn't honor my own writing this week and okay. all of that. Okay. So I think I need to revisit myself a little differently. Um, yeah. Yeah. That's it. The revolution begins at home. Right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Right. That's great. And also you can, you know, I mean, we're not saying it's all your fault or anything like that. We're just saying, sure. The revolution begins at home and, and, you know, maybe you, with that different attitude or that consciousness that you're, you're developing, um, you can re, uh, we can approach some of these, some of these uh, groups again, with a different way of thinking about yourself and looking at your own work, you know, mm -hmm. um, and also, what does it mean to get your work out there? You know, again, it's like it's like it, getting a, 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 for example, a play produced or a movie made isn't like, oh, we're going to have, you know, whatever, uh, you know, Warner Brothers make it or Fox Searchlight is going to make my film and it's going to be in every movie theater in the country or around the world. You know, that that's a that's a one way of getting something made. But there are so many ways of getting your work out there these days. Again, we talked about, I think, was it Rebecca? Weeks and weeks ago, we talked about Substack because you have a medium, you have an account on Medium. We talked about if you're writing essays, you can get your work out on Substack or Medium. Or there's so many ways to get your work out there and develop a readership and develop a following. Um, I remember Chance the Rapper. He's not from Detroit. Anyway, you know, from Chicago. But, you know, he won a Grammy with songs he put out on SoundCloud. You know, so he's not sitting around waiting for some big record deal like they used to back in the day. You know, he's putting his songs out on SoundCloud and winning a Grammy. Um, so there's there's just lots of ways to win the game. You know, OK. okay I'm in. Thank when you. is your birth when is your birthday? August, what day? August 7th. Yay. Yeah. Congratulations. There you go. Congratulations. Are you going to have a party? Uh, no, I'm going to make sure every other 70 year old plate that I know who's turning 70 that I get a play date with the people that might not make it to the next decade. That's well, there you go. Okay. Okay. Sounds like, sounds like a party to me. Yeah. A whole bunch of little ones. With there you go. That, that's good. Little parties are fun. Okay. But that's good. And just, and just keep exploring all your options. Make active use of the word yet, you know, mm -hmm. because there are plenty, there are plenty of, of, of ways to win it. Thank you. Okay, thank you. And keep coming back here. It's fun to talk with you. Oh, I love being here. Okay, thank you. Thanks, Colette. Let's go to Louise. Hey, Louise. Hi, how are you? Hi, I'm well, thank you. How are you doing? Good. Um, so I just wanted to say, um, just as a follow up, what you were saying about reading your work out loud. So when you yeah, yeah, yeah. work out loud, mm -hmm. do you tape record it? Mm, sometimes, sometimes. Would it help you to tape record it? For me, yes, I think it would. I mean, I have, of course, a recorder. 
Sure, sure, sure. But, um, but I actually like the idea of taping it and then playing it back. Because, you know, if I'm reading out loud, I can't, I'm reading out loud, but I think I can hear it better taped. Okay. As opposed to just reading it out loud. So adding to what you said. Yeah. I'll read my work, but I'll tape it. There you go. There you go. There you go. And and then again, if if you feel moved to make notes as you're listening to the playback, you know, because I think that's a great idea. Sure. But again, it's it's whatever, whatever's gonna help. You know what I mean? If some people are like, ah, I could never record it because I hate the sound of my own voice and blah, 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 blah. Then, then it's like, no, that's, you know, but but if you're enjoying that and that is going to help you, then by all means, that's a great idea, Louise. But see, the other thing, and I think you were on point about, and uh, which Rebecca was talking about, which I fall prey to all the time, is like interrupting yourself, going back over and saying, oh, this is, this is not right. And your whole mention of the fact that it's a different part of the brain, that actually, if you're listening is one thing, and then going back to rewrite or restructure or reconfigure. So for myself personally, I would tape it, not take any notes and just listen to it. And then just see, and then the other thing I would do is, um, maybe have an actor read my stuff, not like a script reading or play reading, but just someone, you know, that I know, let them see the work and tape it also and mm -hmm. hear it played back. Sure. If, if, again, if all that works for you, I'm, I'm like, you know, low budget over here. Well, I don't, I don't mean, I don't, no, but if you got an actor, you know, we got all these amazing the actors. There. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> oh, no. And act actors are amazing. Um, and some of we have today, some brilliant actors, the, the tricky thing about these actors. And let me tell you, and who's so, and, and Dana, pretend like you can't hear me. Close your ears for me. <laughs> the, the thing about these brilliant actors is they can make anything sound good. So sometimes like, I'll be like, cause we just worked on harder they come. And I'll be like, Ooh, that scene sounds good. They read it and they make it sound so good, but actually it needs a rewrite. I can't tell cause they're so good. So. Well, well actually that's, you know, but since you said that, mm -hmm. that's actually a good point. Yeah. That's actually, that's so, on point. So yeah. maybe I won't for the time. Yeah. yeah. But, but definitely your own voice. Yeah. Your, yeah, own, your voice, own voice. Yeah. Um, definitely. Um, and and Re Rebecca, you know, listen, I mean, take notes or don't, you know, I like taking notes. It doesn't break up my flow when I'm taking notes and I can actually remember the notes. Um, it's funny when I'm doing plays for the play gear and I'm on stage rehearsing, I actually am also taking notes, which is, is very weird, but I, I sort of, I like to try to take notes. So I like to take notes and listen, but whatever's going to work for your flow. Right. That's yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 That's okay. 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 Cool. But great, great ideas. Great ideas. We love great ideas. Thanks, Louise. Mm -hmm. We've got about eight minutes left. Are there other questions? Eight minutes. We can stare at the ceiling. All righty, Rebecca. Should be unmuted. Awesome. In terms of reading out loud, mm -hmm. I, I actually am comfortable with the sound of my voice. And um, it's both, it gives me both a rhythm thing, like 
and that sort of goes back to the poetry piece. And it gives me a grammar thing. Mm. And I, I really catch where I, and, and some of that may seem like doing the editing I ask people not to do when I send them something to read. It's just like, read this for content. Don't, like, don't edit my grammar. <laughs> um, mm, mm -hmm. I, I, do, um, I do feel like the rhythm of the voice for me needs to be in the piece. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah definitely mm -hmm. all righty Pia one second and you should be able to unmute hey Pia hey girl yeah. how you doing good to see uh, you good to see you too I guess I do have um a question because I'm working on this piece and it's, um, you know, when, when you hear the characters talking to you, right? They come in and then sometimes you sit down, when you sit down to write what they're saying, all of a sudden it dries up. Mm. And then it's like when you're in the shower, you hear them again. And then when you're like, mm -hmm. oh, okay, I'm gonna dedicate this hour to working mm -hmm. with them, they disappear. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if you have any tricks for, uh, Catching. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, your your butterfly net, you know, like so, so, so you sort of like you hear them in the shower. You hear where else do you hear them? What did I you say? On the subway, sometimes. Subway. You know, yeah, like I'll be on the subway. They're talking. I'll be cooking. They like. I think it's right. okay. Great. Yeah. Great. You got a, you got a, a notebook or a device or a phone yeah. or a what do you got? What do you like to take notes in? I like um both my phone and um my notebook. Like I carry like little notebooks around too. Great. You do you use like voice memos on your phone? Yeah, I do. Great, great. So you're gonna become a crazy lady. <laughs> great. So um what's great about um I don't have one right here, a mask. Is you can talk to you, or no, actually, if you have your your earbuds in, or even the one with the cord, you can record stuff, and you can talk right into it. So this is what you're gonna do. You're gonna have your notebook closer at hand than you have had it before. Okay. You're not suggesting in the shower, okay? Because you know, yeah. But on the subway, when you're cooking, when you hear something, you know, it's like when you see something, say something. When you hear when you hear something write it down don't stop and go right you're going to prioritize okay the voices are like you're not prioritizing me right and you're not nah. uh, and i know you're so I'm talking to you like this you're not prioritizing <laughs> when you hear the voice stop what you're doing i mean don't let your food burn or it might burn i don't know you know turn on your voice memo talk into your voice memo say blah blah blah, 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 blah. say enough uh, en enough information so you'll when we turn it back on later you remember it or you get your notebook and you just scribble something right when you're on the subway same thing your voice memo or your notebook which you have at the ready you're waiting you're prioritizing your writing okay yeah. and then when you're writing no it gets the feeling that you're prioritizing they the voices might be more inclined to show up when you're sitting there waiting right right no, you know i know you're right you know you know you gotta you gotta show you gotta i mean they're showing up for it's like a test it's like you really wanna you wanna you and you oh you must not look you still stirring that soup Nah, she ain't interested in us. We're going to go over here. Oh, now she's sitting down with what? I'm supposed to come work from what I'm doing to sit down and talk to her? Shit, that bitch was stirring that soup. You see, they got, like, they have, I'm sorry, you're, I'm using maybe perhaps appropriate language, but you know what I mean, right? You have to prioritize them, and then they'll they'll show up for you. That's beautiful. And right. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, well, try, just try it. See, see, e I mean, e even what you can do, you can put your phone or your notebook, you know, outside of the shower, like in a dry place. When you hear voices, get out the shower, write, write it down. Just see, just see. I mean, 
You know, you don't shower like outside in, in the park, do you? No one's going to see you naked, right? Okay, great. So you just, it's just you in the bathroom. Run, get out of the shower, write it down. Just show them that you're there for them. They'll be like, dang, she's serious now. She got out of the shower. She let the soup burn. Hmm. She talking to herself on the subway. I don't know. She might be interested, right? Right. Okay. Thank what's you. great is that is that what's great is that they're showing up for you yeah and i love them they're fun they, and they love you mm -hmm. you look at you look at your smile <laughs> it's so great to see you i haven't seen you in ages i know i miss the time i know great to see you to see you too It's 5.59. Should we call it a day and come back on next Monday? Great. Thanks, everybody, yeah, for being go. here. Love you guys. Have a great week. I'll see you next week. See you next week. Bye. Thank you. Thanks, Emma. Bye.